All right, welcome back to another vid. It's looking good. So today, it is in desperate need of cut. Um, today is day 26 on the seed, so it is looking for one really bad. Um, still a couple of bits that are just germinating now, but we need to cut it, so let's do it. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. Right, so today we're cutting with the Toro Greens Master, if you couldn't already tell from the start of that vid. So I set it to about 25, 26 mil, just cause the ground is a bit wet and our grass is at about 35 mil in height. So I don't wanna take too much off. Don't really wanna cut the baby seedlings. Just wanna nick the top off so it starts to thicken up and tiller out um, like that. So I'm nearly gonna jump into regular mowing now, but the lawn is looking pretty good. Germination everywhere, even in our bare spots. Luckily after I put some seed down after we had that big washout, a lot of it's come back. I'll tell you what, that peat moss I put down, awesome retaining moisture. I've only been watering like every one, once or twice a day, like hardly anything. Some days I've watered nothing if it's been overcast, so it's been really, really good. And had germination in three days with a lot of that stuff, so it's great. But yeah, yeah, it is looking good. Considering, um, there's still obviously your thin spots, like here, a couple of spots over there, but it's germinating, so we're looking pretty good. But I'm gonna get this mow done, so we're gonna get straight into it. Um, not gonna do any fancy footage today, just do a time lapse. Might get the drone up so you guys can see, but we should get some nice stripes um, with this mower today. Um, we'll see how it goes um, in the backyard. It is a big, chunky mower, um, so <laughs> I might have to get the rover out here just to do the, the edges and stuff, which is fine, but yeah, let's just do it. Let's mow. what came up pretty flipping good oh man so looks like it's pretty lush from this angle if we get down a little bit closer you can see there is a few bare spots here and there but seriously there's grass growing in there grass growing in there this is as bad as the bare spots are so it's not too bad especially since it's got grass germinated there so we're not going to have an issue you see little grassies everywhere and little new ones popping up through the middle as well yeah, we shouldn't have any issues now from here on in. We should just get some good germination. So I'm gonna fertilize the yard in a minute with some Noculate Complete, just to keep some growth going on this. Rye is pretty hungry grass. Does need a little bit more nitrogen. Um, there's a little bit of a storm coming in too, out in the distance by the look of it. So hopefully we can snag some rain after I get the fert down. Um, but perfect opportunity to get this fertilizer down now because the lawn is dry. If it was wet, fertilizer could potentially burn the grass. Um, yeah, and the, the reason I'm putting fertilizer down too, I did put it down when I first put this um, seed out. That's about nearly four weeks ago now. Um, and since I've been watering so much, good chance that it's leached out of the soil or at least caught past the roots of the newly germinated stuff. So I'm gonna put some fur out in a minute, but let's have a look at the front. All right, so there's the front there. So I only gave the front a double cut, gave the back a triple cut because the back was a lot longer. Yeah, it's getting here as well. Um, there's a few more thin patches out the back, but they are all germinating. Here's this spot here that I've been showing you guys that was really thin before. And now, look at that. 
really thickened up and it's going to keep thickening up more and more as well but yeah it's looking good i'm going to put some inoculate complete down um we're just going to go we're going to go full rate today so well, well full rate's about four kilos or three to four kilos we're going to get two kilos so about half rate this humic acid will be good for the seed as well and the wetting agent and the microbes don't touch it yummy 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 that's not yummy <laughs> Let's do it! <laughs> oh yeah! Right, fur and done, so now we've got the sprinklers going out the back. Um, did a silly bang in one of those bricks and spang whacked into what am I saying? Struggling. Drop some fertilizer down in one spot so to make sure I spread it out so I got the sprinkles on straight away. So they're out there going now. Um yeah, and we'll water each section as we go. So I want to get at least six mil down. So for me six mil is about takes about 20 to 30 minutes. Right, so it's the next day I realized that I didn't wrap up yesterday's video, which is all good, but as you can see looks so mint after that cut um and man just gonna wait for those areas to fill in i'll be mowing this every two days which sounds ridiculous but i'm excited for um we never got that storm yesterday afternoon looks like we might be getting something today though so i did have to water in that fertilizer obviously otherwise we would have got some burn if it was left on there for too long especially since we had such a heavy dew the next morning but yeah mate lawn is looking great just really excited about it so yeah i really love using that toro um great mower i did buy that myself some people were saying how many mowers are you getting sent i didn't get sent that mower i bought that mower founder um just spoke to the toro guys and purchased that with my own muller anyway yeah i'm gonna wrap the video up there but thanks guys so much for watching subscribe to the channel if you haven't already like this video if you enjoyed it do you have a good rest of your week and i'll see you on saturday all right so i thought i'd give you guys a quick update at the end of the vid on the tiff tough so tell you what the longer parts are looking like crazy. Look how thick that is getting. As you can see, I put some fertilizer down here yesterday. I put some of that inoculate complete out here as well, just to give it another kick of growth. Um, and then the green is actually starting to green up now. So since I'm doing regular cutting every single day, you can see it's actually starting to get trained to that height now. And you can see like there's still these bare spots here, but they have got a lot of green shoots coming up in there. So we're getting some shoots coming off those um, stolons there as well, which is awesome. Like I can see green shoots throughout every single area, which is great. Like I see if I can get a close up for you. It's a bit hard to see. Yeah. Anyway, if you look closely, shoot there, a couple of shoots there, a couple of shoots there, and then it keeps shooting from there as well. But yeah, all in all, pretty happy with how it's going. Give it, I reckon give it about two to three weeks and that green will be looking mint